Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're going to be taking a look at some brand new features coming to the sculpting side of things in Blender 2.82. So this is actually the alpha version. You can go over to Blender.org to download it. We've also covered a couple of features that will be coming. So do well to check those ones. So we Blender open right here and you know, we have Susan the monkey. I'm just going to, you know, increase the subdivision a little bit. Let's say we make it three. Go ahead and hit apply so that we can have this all baked in. Next thing which we want to do is to talk about something really, really cool. So one of the very cool stuff that's coming over to this tool now is, you know, the brushes. So there are a couple of brushes coming. So I'm just going to go over to the sculpting panel or going over to the sculpting section. And from here, we can actually, you know, see these things for what they are. And the very first thing which you would notice is within the brushes, we now have something called the dash ratio so the dash ratio is something you can find down here within the stroke section so within the stroke section if i just simply you know move this over you wouldn't notice anything let's increase this brush size a bit and let me just simply turn off symmetry so you guys can see so you wouldn't notice anything happening looks like your very regular draw brush right but then if I come through and turn down the dash ratio just a little bit, you would start noticing that I'll be having dash points traveling across. So let me just make this a little bit more, reduce the size of the brush a bit, press F to reduce the size of the brush. And then you're going to be having something like that. A very good example is, you know, doing this with something a little bit dense. So for this, I'm going to bring in a very, you know, heavy rhino. So you can get this rhino if you already have ZBrush and i got this rhino from there you can get it you can play with it you can do whatever you want and with this here if we simply select any of the brushes we'll come back to stroke turn this all the way down and you know start stroking this you can start seeing those stuff so i think this is going to be really really helpful especially if you want to add some certain amount of detail to your model i think this is going to make a lot of sense it's going to really really help the way you work now this is one of the things that happens with the brushes and i think it's across most of the brushes that you can use to do things like um, adding and subtracting more like brushes like you know the draw sharp brush and also the default draw brush so there is a brush called the normal script brush which you probably have seen which is this brush right here so with this brush here let's also increase the brush size a bit you can actually you know scrape things you can flatten things down at the same time you can chisel certain things all of those things you can do them but now with the multi script brush so if i just simply select the multi script brush i can go through and get things that has to do with very crease lines some scraping that are quite nice so this takes a look at your topology and you can see what we're having directly here and at the same time it sharpens some parts of this to me this looks like the crease brush plus you know the damp standard brush all combined together in blender and this is also something really cool i think a lot of people would find a good use for so you can go in now and just chisel some very hard edges onto your model and create some very cool stuff and you can see there is a visual guide to it that tells you exactly what you're doing and how you're doing that now because we're talking about this let's move on to one other cool brush that you guys would also like and that has to do with the topology brush so right now we do have a grab brush directly here in blender and we also have a default snake hook brush and we also have the elastic brush but blender 2.81 do not have a brush that sort of emulates you know the move topology brush that exists in blender and so there is this new topology brush that exists right now i kind of think this could be an answer to that so if you just simply grab onto this brush you can now move things based off their topology so you can use this to actually you know move certain topologies so in case you have like some very dense areas and you want to move them around you can also use this and i see this as something very interesting very very interesting to you know to see at the same time since we're talking about the brushes that we have here at the same time there is also a very cool mesh filter brush so the mesh filter brush is also something that showed up in blender 2.81 i guess so i think it's the brush that showed up in blender 2.81 and this now has a cool new add-on to it. So in the previous version of Blender, which is Blender 2.81, we do not have the relaxed, uh, you know, filter. So, but right now, if you come over here, you get to see that we have a relaxed filter. So if you click on this relaxed filter, click and drag, you can now relax your stuff 
really really cool this could be a little bit too much depending on what you're doing but for the most part it just goes in and you know relaxes or smooths out certain edges or certain parts i would really advise like if you want to make use of this tool you could go in and mask certain areas which you don't want this tool to operate and then you can go ahead and simply use this this is going to be really really helpful especially if you're into deforming your models a little bit too much and you want to get them back for some reason this is going to help you do those things really cool and really really clean moving on to something else i know you guys would definitely definitely like and that has to do with remesh so we already saw remesh in the previous version of blender but now there is a very cool stuff that has to do with remesh right now so if you simply grab onto any brush so let's just go ahead and grab onto any brush any brush what brush this brush that brush looks good let's just deform this a little bit so the cool feature that is now with the remesh tool is you can now simply go over to the remesh section so if i simply you know jump back here and go all the way down here and simply select remesh i can now select the voxel size i want to remesh my stuff as this is extremely incredible i don't know what word i can use for this so a very good example is if you take a look at here you can see the size that we have okay so if i simply pick this i'm going to use this right now to specify the size of polygons i want to get at the end of the remeshing so i can just click here right now and just get you know the size which i want and hit remesh and i'm going to have a relatively close to the same size across the border so we have already talked about the two types of remeshing that exist in blender so if you want to check that link is going to be in the description and also on the card so you can check that one out and at the same time as much as this does a very good job i kind of think that you know the quad remesh still does some sort of cool job maybe a bit more cooler job than this so just in case you want to also check that one out link to you know playing with the uh, quad remesher is also going to be in the description so you can check that out so next thing which we want to do is you want to get something a bit smaller you can navigate to a smaller part of your mesh so we can pick something like that and then you can hit remesh and this might take a while and then you have something like this so we saw the pose brush show up in blender 2.81 and with the pose brush you know it promises that you can pose things around so this pose brush has uh, i would actually say it has been reworked a little bit more so it now supports ik according to pablo it supports ik although i have not really seen a much more functional ik feature right now but i guess with the final version this is going to support ik and at the same time the symmetry works a little bit better than you know you would have expected and so as we move on to the final stuff which i want to show you guys i'll still talk about some features that are coming over that are not yet implemented so the next feature which we have to talk about that is presently in this this new version which is available is the masking so we now have a masking thing that exists here and this masking thing is just, it's just so it's, it's just pretty cool just going to go in here and mask a part so in most cases you want to get exactly the same slice effect that you have in zbrush in blender okay in most cases you want to get that so instead of using the box hide which we have here you can now go in here use the mask and simply mask by using slice so it slices that mask and you have that all right this is pretty neat but what if you need a base so we also have another brush in zbrush called you know the trim brush and now you can also trim your stuff directly here so once you select this you can go in here and say mask slice and fill hole and automatically you're going to get this in zbrush in most cases once you do something like this it automatically creates a polygroup of which you can go in and you know use that polygroup to start recreating something really cool that you want to work with and at the same time if you want to create a brand new you know you want to create a brand new object out of this you can come here and simply uh, you know mask slice and create a brand new object and you have a brand new mesh directly from here so you now have this and you have the other mesh which you've created of course this is definitely going to have a couple of walkover and a lot of people are going to react to these things differently but i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section some other cool stuff that will be coming is the face group face group is not yet implemented in this version and also the ramp painting feature is also not yet implemented in this version of blender 2.82 that we're working with of course this tool is still in our and probably once it gets to beta all of these things will be working perfectly fine so i would like to know what you guys think about this and all of these new features that we've talked about 
in the comment section but of course if you like this video you learned something from it tell a friend to tell a friend and don't forget to hit the like button and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace